Ladies, if a man is giving you level two effort and respect, stop giving him level 10 access to you. Your time, your life, your body. It's your choice who is granted access. What? It's your choice who is granted access. Exactly. So the next time you lovely ladies complain about your ex on TikTok, remember, you chose him. And we don't need men to choose us anymore. It's not the 1930s. We have jobs. We have money. We have titles after our names. Really? What titles? Single mother by two baby daddies? Proper garden tool of the month? Eggplant expert? <laughs> and men haven't really seemed to catch on to this yet. But if a man isn't putting in the time and the effort, he is most certainly not entitled to access you on whatever level he wants. Set the boundary, stand firm, make them earn it. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> and if a man isn't willing to do that, he'll simply find another woman who's easier to get along with, while the girlies with titles in their names bitterly post cringe on TikTok. Dismissed. Then I. Dismissed! What, am I so undesirable that nobody would ever want me, even historically? What? <laughs> yeah, so how big is it? What, your meat holster? It's big enough to hide the entire nuclear program of North Korea and Iran. You're goddamn right. Indeed. Which probably explains why your underwear is glowing. Bruh. Weak men today tell you, oh, we're men. We're allowed to cheat. This is just how we're built. Anybody that tells you that is a weak man. You want to know why? They can't control their urges. Every man has that urge. We're freaking dogs. Really, Jose? You're a dog? Does that mean your wife takes you for walks in the park with a leash around your neck? Do you also fetch the stick when she throws it? Bruh. We're animalistic by nature. You also have the urge to beat your meat five times a day. But guess what I tell you as well? You want to delay that gratification because you understand that the reward of being faithful and committed is pretty much this. I have been living with a proverbial boot on my neck for going on years now. Uh, since 2021, I've been living through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce. Now, let me say on the outset, to be clear, there is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. What? There is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. One more time for Mr. Jose Zuniga. There is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. And one more time for the people in the chief seats. There is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. And no, this was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life. What I consider to be my deepest personal failure. And just so you know, my opinions on parenting and families have not changed. Um, I've always believed that Children need a mom and a dad, that divorce is horrible. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, I loved a woman so much that I married her. A woman who, despite all of this, I still love as the mother of my children. And she wanted something else for her life. That's not my choice. She simply wanted out and the law says that that's how it works. Now, of course, look, I get it. There are multiple sides to every story, but one thing that is undeniable uh, in this case is that it's no one's fault but my own in that I picked wrong. And that's why I always tell you guys to thoroughly vet a woman before you commit to her. Your life literally depends on it. But now, let's see what the lovely ladies have to say about divorce.
If your husband is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce, you're not a bad person. So don't let guilt get the best of you. You're not doing him any favors by staying. If anything, you're actually gonna start building up resentment. Your relationship doesn't have to be toxic to validate your feelings of wanting to leave. Think of it this way. If he's a good guy, he deserves to be happy. That means he deserves to be with somebody who values him and wants him just the way he is. If that's not you, you gotta let him go. He may not see it like this right now, but you're doing both of you a favor. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life. He may not see it like this right now, but you're doing both of you a favor. So this is the crap that wives are exposed to daily. And last time I checked, Jose, you're married. But until reality inevitably kicks you in the family jewels, please take your condescending, pretentious BS take on men's urges, turn it sideways, and stick it right up your thermal exhaust port. And that's the bottom line, cause don't go sensor.